Hello, my name is Maxim Vlasov and I'm going to tell you how our program iTokna works. iTokna is software that automates the production of windows, doors and facades from PVC, aluminum and wood. All the stages are automated from a first contact with the customer to installation of finished production and work with complaints. Today I'm going to talk about receiving orders, forming batches in production, optimizing materials cutting and operation logistics in the workshop. Look at the diagram on the screen. The first stage is to create an order. You can create an order, schedule work dates, measurements, installation, complaints, etc. Calculate constructions, generate documents for customers, invoices, contracts, specifications, etc. You can also make an order for hardware, closed windows and record customers payment in production. So let's start the program and see how it works. An order is created in the journal orders. Go to documents, orders. You can see orders log. You'll find all the orders in the database for the selected period. By default, the selected period is the current day. You can change this setting. The first thing to do is create a new order. Click New. Select a customer in the window that appears. You can choose from the existing customers or create a new one by clicking New button. Fill in customer details. I recommend it that you complete the name, address, phone and specify a comment if necessary. Click OK after completion. A new customer is added to the database and will be selected for the current order. You can then specify additional order options, such as installation address if it's different from the customer's address, completion date, completion kind and so on. Click OK after completion. A new order has been created. In the right bar we can see and change the contents of the order. You can schedule work on the order from the tab tasks. Create constructions on the order in the constructions tab. You can create a construction by clicking new. Let me show you quickly how to create a new construction. After constructions are created, let's print documents for a customer invoice contract specification. Let's also print documents for orders of hardware and glazed windows. The order has a debt. Go to Payments tab and add the payment. This way we record customer's payment. Payment can be partial or complete. After payment the amount of debt is reduced. The order has been calculated, documents have been generated, payments has been made. So it's time to send the order to production. Select the order and click Ready button. The program will prepare the necessary data to produce this order. Manufacturing stage is the creation of batches. In the section you create a batch and fill it with constructions. When there is a constant flow of construction in the production, the program allows to divide them in chunks and optimize the production process. A batch is a collection of constructions that are produced in one production cycle. I recommend it using 25-35 constructions with amount loads the production evenly. Several batches can be produced in one shift. The amount of constructions is selected based on the capacity of trolleys in the workshop. A trolley may look like this. There can be some differences, but basically uh, they are the same. Each trolley cell can hold four elements that make up the contour for welding. During cutting work pieces are sorted in order to provide 
the minimum material waste and a sawyer puts them into trolley cells. Eventually, there are four work pieces for the contour in each cell. At the welding station, a worker will quickly find all four work pieces of frame or such contours. So let's start the program and see how it works. Go to batch, journal and create a new batch. Add constructions to the batch, select a filter, mark it and add to the batch. Constructions have been added to the batch, send the batch to production. After the batch is sent, a form for writing of materials from stock and a cutting design are generated automatically. Cutting designs contain all the elements arranged according to material articles. It means one design stores the cutting design of a specific material. Let's go to the program and optimize the cutting. This part allows you to optimize the cutting of materials, print the cutting designs, generate and print stickers for work pieces and export ready cutting designs with stickers and calculated operations to automated machines. Let's go to optimize tab. New tasks haven't been optimized yet. Mark the tasks that need to be optimized and click optimize. After optimization, we can see cutting designs of materials. Let's print stickers for work pieces and cutting designs for workshop. Using export button, we can send data to production equipment, such as saws, processing centers, welding equipment, and so on, for further processing in automatic mode. That's all I wanted to say about general operation of a program. I will talk about some options and functions of ITOCNA software in more details in the following videos. I'm Maxim Vlasov, and this is ITOCNA software. See you.